Hello children. Good morning. In the previous class, you have learned about animals around us. Do you know that there are many animals around us? Birds and insects are also animals. Birds and insects are also animals. We are human beings. Human beings also belong to the group of animals. For example, dog, cat, fish, goat, sheep, lion, tiger, rabbit, deer, elephant, etc. Today we are going to learn about introduction of animals. Introduction of animals. All animals are different colors, different shapes and different sizes. The word animal includes a variety of living creatures. The word animal includes a variety of living creatures. Now we are going to learn about kinds of creatures. Kinds of creatures. First one, animals. First one, animals. All animals have four legs, two ears and one tail. Some animals have horns. Some animals have horns. Some animals are big and huge. Some animals are big and huge. For example, elephant, cow, buffalo, etc. Why some are small? For example, rabbit, cat, dog, etc. Animals are of two types. Animals are of two types. First one, wild animals. Second one, domestic animals. Now first one, wild animals. First one, wild animals. Wild animals living in the forest. Wild animals living in the forest. They are called wild animals. For example, some of the wild animals. Monkey, snakes, tiger, lion, giraffe, zebra, deer, etc. We can see these animals. We can see these animals in a zoo also. We can see these animals in a zoo also. Next, domestic animals. Second one, domestic animals. Some of the domestic animals, cow, buffalo, goat, sheep, bulls, horse, camel, parrot, hen, dog, cats, etc. They are called domestic animals. Because they live in or around people houses. They live in or around people houses. People feed and tend them. People feed and tend them. Some domestic animals gives us milk, meat and wool. For example, cow gives us milk. Cow gives us milk. Sheep gives us wool. Sheep gives us wool. Next, we are going to learn about birds. Second one, birds. Birds are called winged creatures. Birds are called winged creatures. They can fly. They can fly. They have, they have two legs and one beak. Some birds fly very high. Why? Some only hop on the ground. Some birds fly very high. Some birds only hop on the ground. For example, pigeon, sparrow, parrot, peacock, duck and hen are some of the birds. Next, third one, insects. Third one, insects. Insects 
are very small creatures insects are very small creatures the body of these animals very small the body of these animals very small all insects have six legs they usually have two pair of wings they usually have two pair of wings for example cockroach honey bee grasshopper butterfly house fly lizard mosquito and etc these are some of the insects these are some of the insects next traveling animals fourth one traveling animals traveling animals travel on the ground traveling animals travel on the ground some have short legs some have short legs while some have none while some have none for example snake earthworm worms snail crocodile chameleon lizard snail etc they are cold blooded creatures they are called cold blooded creatures cold blooded creatures means sheetha rakta jeevigalu sheetha rakta jeevigalu i hope you are clearly understood thank you children